Okay, guys, we're going to talk about lab number nine, antibiotics, antiseptics, and disinfectants. So, guys, we're going, to, we're going to go through this lab that describes how we can test antibiotics, disinfectants, antiseptics, whatever we like, to see um, how a certain sp specific bacterial species reacts to it, whether it's very sensitive to it, in which case it's going to suppress it a great deal, whether it's resistant, these guys grow right up to the to the antibiotic or the disinfectant antiseptic, or whether it's somewhere in between what we call intermediate. This is called the Kirby-Bauer test. Yes, that's something you need to know. On Kirby Bauer, what we have is we have these little paper discs. These discs are impregnated with antibiotic. There's several different types, and I'll show you when we get a little bit further down. But these antibiotics are in these disc forms, and we can push them into the TSA plate, into the auger, after we grow bacteria on it or after we inoculate the bacteria and let them let them sit in the incubator for about 48 hours and then we can see how effective a certain antibiotic or disinfectant or antiseptic is against that particular species of bacteria. Um, what happens is around those little circular paper discs we're going to see an area that is cleared. We're doing a bacterial lawn like we were talking about previously, where we use the hockey stick to basically spread it out. Or you could actually just use a swab. We, I think that's what they do in the other one. And that's fine too. Swab is fine, especially for a lawn. But we're going to spread it out all over the disc or all over the surface of the auger, and then we're going to put the disc in, space them out equally, and as the bacteria grows, when it gets close to the disc with the antibiotic, depending on how sensitive that particular bacteria is, is how far away the bacteria will stay from that disc. So you have these discs, a circular, and then there's a circular cleared area the larger the area that's cleared, the more sensitive that bacteria is to that particular antibiotic or antiseptic or, or whatever. So that's how we measure it. That cleared area is called the zone of inhibition. That's one of those things you need to know. We take that and we compare it to a zone standard. We have one at the end of this lab, and it's going to give us the bacteria's um, how resistant, sensitive, or whatever it is to it. Kirby Bauer is pretty easy. It's one of the more fun labs we can do. And even though we can't do this in the, our actual lab, they do have a simulator at the end of the lab, uh, a link to it, and I strongly suggest you go there. So we get forceps, which you've never seen those before, they look a lot like tweezers. Uh, we get a, a test tube that has some alcohol. We wet the tool with the alcohol and then pass it through the flame to burn off the alcohol. We just very similar to what we did when we were doing serial dilution and making sure of course we don't burn ourselves with the flaming alcohol. But we're going to inoculate that, that plate uh, to make sure that there's no colonies already on there or water on the agar. Um, this is true for every lab. If the plate is contaminated, you need to dispose of it. If there's water, we can use sterile cotton to remove it. But in any case, we're going to take that, that sterile swab that we're going to use to inoculate, swab it around inside of a, of a liquid culture, remove it, 
and to get the excess liquid and then we're just going to rub it on the plate now what we're going to do is we're going to rub it in one way slightly change direction rub it in another slightly change direction so what we want to do is make sure we get all the bacteria on there that's that's kind of our that's our goal we want the entire surface of that agar to be growing bacteria we want what's called the bacterial lawn and here's a great picture of it right here then after we've done that we're going to let this sit for about five minutes and then we're going to put these paper discs on there the ones with the antibiotics the ones we actually use only have about five so they're kind of equally spaced around the rim but there's nothing wrong with that and you can see this antibiotic right there is totally the bacteria is totally resistant it's growing up to and under it this one is pretty weak i don't know i'd say this one is probably the strongest one but you'd have to actually get a ruler and measure it in millimeters that's how we do it uh, not really much i can say about that we've already talked about it and you don't really need to know about that dispenser we we put the paper disc on there that's all we need uh and we invert it and put it in the incubator now we also do another one in this one i know the video shows the man making a four quadrants on the bottom two cross lines making four quadrants on the uh, thing but we generally don't do that for Kirby Bauer we do that for antiseptics and disinfectants because what we're going to do is we're going to take our TSA plate draw the draw the two two lines making four quadrants now again un unlike the way that he did it we generally take our forceps do the do the flaming again grab a paper disc dunk it soak it in whatever you're testing whether it's lysol or pine salt or rubbing alcohol whatever you do that and then you put it very gently on the uh on the tsa plate and you put one of those discs in each of the quadrants and generally we only give out four because we have more than that but usually other people will use different ones and we're going to do basically do the same as the Kirby Bauer we're looking to see how how much um, bacterial sensitivity you have to these different compounds ammonia you could do all these um, of course we take the, we take our forceps and we got to press it kind of gently those paper discs uh, that we're talking about using with these guys and these are basically those same little little things of paper that come out when you use a hole puncher um, but we have to press them kind of gently into the auger because remember we're going to be turning this upside down so when we when we come back we take these out we look at our growth we're going to measure the milliliters and this is what something you would you would record and then we'd use the zone uh, standard chart to tell us here are the two uh videos this one's this one's really good i'm sorry this is not a video this is our simulation i would do it so there is some of the antibiotic chloramphenicol erythromycin canamycin neomycin novobiosin penicillin streptomycin and tetracycline and here is our zone standards in millimeters if it's less than 12 millimeters then for chloramphenicol then it's going to be resistant it's coming right up to it 13 to 17 is intermediate and greater than 18 millimeters and we're talking about the diameter of the circle right everybody knows what a diameter is if not you can look it up in any case guys that's Kirby Bauer and we usually record our results it is kind of interesting I'm not sure if they're actually doing this kind of in the medical labs 
Um, they may, but I don't know. All right, guys, that's it. I'll see you in the next lab.